almost every year I've had a Halloween display, there's been some sort of spooky eyeball effect, whether it's in some sort of floral decor or even in my earliest years, just those simple string lights with light up eyes in your bushes. Well, I'm actually back to that this year. Welcome back everybody. I'm Mike from Happy Haunting here for everything Halloween. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a product um, from our friends at This Wing. They sent me a new set of glowing eyes to uh, check out with you today. And I'm really excited about these. So these are actually solar powered lamps as opposed to last year when I tried to do some black light powered DIY painted eyeballs. Didn't turn out very well. So I'm hoping um, these will do the trick. Um, before we go ahead and open up the box though, let me show you the website on Amazon and uh, what we can expect. I will put a link to their Amazon store in the description below, but they do have some Halloween products, simple solar lighting options. We've got, looks like some jack-o'-lanterns there, and of course these eyes. So they have sent me, um, again, these glowing eyes, but they come in a variety of colors. So I requested green. There's also orange and red and purple. All right, but for our purposes, let's take a look at these images. Um, it looks like it's solar powered, high efficiency, on off, long lasting. Um, a light tube can be bent according to the presentation you want. Um, automatically lights up at night for 10 to 12 hours. A couple of different lighting modes. Um, it looks like there's some sort of flash or strobe light mode as well. Let's go ahead and scroll down and check out the reviews. Looks like they've got four out of five stars, not bad. Big section of five star reviews. They say spooky for Halloween, it's cute, it's fun. This one says the ad picture looks better than they are. And that's what we're going to find out today. Um, so let's go ahead and open up the box and see inside. I'm hoping these are better than the ad appears. Let's go ahead and pull them out. All right, so it looks like it's got some aluminum looking stakes, although I believe they are plastic. It's got a nice pointy end that's going to help you drive it into the ground. So it comes with actually, it's a set of two and it looks like it's pretty simple. We're just going to apply the stake um, to the bottom and then you can adjust these. Now it's actually, don't, okay, so it takes a little bit. It looks like you can adjust it perhaps mostly at the base. Um, but the way the stems are, I don't think, yeah, I guess you can. You can adjust it however you want. So reading the directions for these, um, it looks like it will take six to eight hours for it to fully charge, though it does come charged. I did not realize that the solar sensor is actually um, going to make it turn on and off. So I guess it's only gonna turn on when it's dark out, but you can see when it does, it's got that awesome glow. So. I'm gonna try this again in my floral arrangement. Just gonna take a little piece of paper and cover up that sensor. And here we can see it does have the two different modes. So you can have it blink or you can just have it on. Obviously, I think just having it on is going to be a little bit nicer. There we go. What do you think? So add a little bit of spooky flair to my centerpiece floral arrangement here. The creepy green glowing eyeballs. Let me go ahead and bring the camera in and we'll take a closer look. I do think the eyeballs add a little bit of fun flair. As you get closer and take a look, you can see the blood splattering around the pupil. It gives it a very creepy horror filled vibe. And of course, you can adjust the eyeball so that it points in whatever direction you want. The other items in the box, of course, were again the stakes. A very pointy end, about a foot or so long, and instructions with two sides. I think this looks fabulous. It's much better than I had actually hoped for but most people are gonna actually use these outside. So let me go ahead and do that. We'll stick them in some bushes, wait for it to get a little bit darker and see what they look like at night. So 
So inside the lights looked pretty good, but out here the glow is actually really nice. I love the green, um, but without a little bit of external illumination, you really do lose the sense that it's an eyeball. In fact, when it's just glowing from within, you can't tell at all because of the blood splattering that you're looking at an eyeball. So I kind of wish um, that perhaps it was a little bit different, maybe if they had left the pupil open um, inside so you could see some of the green in the center, that might have helped. That's probably something we could retrofit ourselves, but um, for my purposes, like I said, I'm going to be using it inside in a floral arrangement. I think that's probably where it's going to look best. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Before we go, I did want to say a special thank you to the patrons who help support the channel. If you're interested in joining our Fright Club, be sure to check out a link to my Patreon page in the description below. I did want to say a special thank you also to the folks over at This Wing for sending us this. If you're interested in uh, picking one up for yourself, there will be a link in the description of the video. That's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time, take care and happy haunting.